Theoretically, it's pretty simple. Yeah, the concept is very simple. It took a lot of years for us to figure out where these cells were, which ones were they, and, and how to use them. VetStem CEO and founder Robert Harmon says they've treated about 3,000 horses, many with joint problems. One of them was a racehorse named Bia Bono, which had bone chips in the knee and damage to the sac that holds cushioning fluid around the joint. It threatened to end his career, if not his life. You're always skeptical about something new. You want to see if it works, and so somebody has to try it. We did. It worked. And away they go on the vessels of maturity and Aladdin and Brian. After stem cell injections, Bia Bono returned to racing and has since earned one and a quarter million dollars in prize money. Bia Bono demolishes the field, takes the vessels of maturity two years in a row. What this is supposedly doing, which I think it is, is regenerating that capsule to where it's got that fluid and that cushion back in there. For that joint. Good knee. Yeah, good knee. It's fairly safe to try it, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I don't see any reason why humans aren't doing it.